Hi, welcome to a 2 zknowledgecom and to my channel Data Engineering. So today we are going to discuss about SparkLens. So SparkLens is a product uh, which is uh, called a profiling tool which was invented by the company and the team members belongs to Kyobel. Uh, Kyobel is a company uh, where like they give a lot of cloud related solutions and big data solutions as well as a service. Uh, so now I'm going to explain you how to integrate the SparkLens with your uh, Spark program and SparkLens is completely free and the source code is available in the GitHub so you can just google it so you will get the link so uh, let me uh, give you an uh, quick uh, intro again so uh, uh, profiling tool so what does mean by the profiling tool so profiling is all about when you run your spark job you have to define the memory properties right so driver memory executor memory number of cores and number of executors right so you have there is a calculation for this i have already uploaded a video uh, how to calculate uh, these uh, properties I means this numbers how to bring the numbers like 10 executors five cores one GB driver memory five GB executor memory so how you bring this numbers so that is a calculation so I have a video already in my playlist and you can find my playlist link in the description box of this video so some people will not do all this calculation they will go with DRA dynamic resource allocation that means they are giving it to spark itself spark uh, itself will decide some amount of values for all these memory properties so DRA is not recommended when you go for real-time projects and clusters because it tries to utilize a lot of uh, the um what to say a lot of the cluster utilizations will be more so sometimes like i need only 10 executor for my job but it occupies like a 30 executors so that means it's a waste like 20 executors or extra so which can be freed for some other jobs right so this can happen because DRA is not that much intelligent in spark for now so this kind of profiling tool will help us whether uh, we are giving the correct amount of values for all these memory properties okay you may get a question here you said there is a calculation for this so if I do that calculation still I need to go for such profiling tools okay so even you do a calculation like how to give spark driver memory executor memory number of cores number of executor still there will be some kind of an problems that we can't able to identify okay uh, here is an example so you have given all the uh, memory properties with the proper calculation everything is good but what about the data skew your your data was not equally uh, distributed and parallelism was not there somewhere the data got skewed so that is something which we are not I means which we couldn't uh, able to identify right before we submit a job we don't know we don't have any idea only my thing as a developer what I will be thinking is okay I will give this amount of value I will do all the perfect calculation for executor driver memory cores and all those stuff but when I run the job it's still job is lag it means it's still going down and it's taking more time the reason is the calculation was good but I have some data skewness so how can I identify this so spark lens will help you to identify data skewness and the job skewness as well even though you do a calculation or even though you do DRA when you use spark lens it will be always good and recommended for you it won't utilize much uh, resource from your cluster okay so I will explain you how to integrate this with your spark so uh, here uh, you can see like there is an option for spark shell also you can integrate this uh, uh, spark lens with spark cell so I, I'm giving iPhone iPhone packages and the Kyobel package name and then hyphen hyphen conf spark dot extra listener equal to com dot Kyobel dot spark lens dot Kyobel job listener so this option sometimes will not work if your cluster is within some virtual private network so in that time what you can do there is a uh, Kyobel uh, spark lens jar file is available in the Maven site you can download Load it or you can build the github project of spark lens and generate a jar file and use that jar file with iphone iphone jar command along with your spark submit or spark shell you can use it or directly you even in spark submit also this line if this this is allowed in your cluster you can straightforward you can do this or else download the jar take it to your cluster and then with that jar you can able to submit so when you submit this with um, yawn right so you can able to find the spark lens report in std out in yawn logs std out but if you are doing it in shell i will tell you how, where you can see i will tell you now because i am not going to show you with spark submit that's why i am giving all this information to you so now i am i am going to start with my spark shell so i am going to give executor core as one and then num executors as one okay 
now i will start so your spark lens will start the calculation from here okay when you see this in your spark shell then the cobal spark lens is working fine so your spark lens will start considering uh, the point where spark shell is trying to create the context from that point onwards it will start doing the uh, time calculations okay so i have the word count program here I'm going to run and uh, there will not be much difference in the time what I'm going to show you now because my data set is very less but I will try to explain as much as possible like what you have to see in your uh, uh, real time cluster when you use spark lens. Okay, that's all. I'm writing the file to HDFS and I'm reading the file from HDFS. The word count is done. So with respect to spark shell, an important thing is you have to kill the cell. Then only you can able to see the report. I'm giving control C now. You can see there control C okay see you got the report so i will go up again uh, you can see i'm just giving uh, i'm when i give control c it says saving spark lens data to this location also the pr the print version is here so the, it's also printing the same here so uh, spark lens will give you a lot of information uh, like 40 50 percentage of information will be there in your spark itself and spark ui and yarn log itself you can able to find but still we have few more information which is very interesting and i will show you what are all the information that i used to follow in 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 my experience so only i'm going to show you that i'm not going to explain the complete stuff it's not required also but on your interest if you want to learn much you can yeah you can go ahead and you can learn so the very first thing what i will be seeing is okay my host is only one host it's one node okay okay so it's when you when you come here you can see driver wall clock time so how much time driver has taken for starting the uh, means for this job 29 seconds but if you see the executor time taken is only two seconds executor is where your task will be executing right but if you see driver is taking almost uh, like 90 uh, percentage of time of the job right so we have to check why driver is taking much time okay that we have to see and here the data set is really small so that uh, executors wall clock time is less that's the reason so uh, uh, in real time for example executor time is like one hour and uh, the driver time is around three hours then it is dangerous you have to consider why driver is taking three hours you have some kind of actions that is running in driver like collect collect is a very very good example the driver will work hard when you do collect because the entire shuffle thing will happen in the driver right so then that is wrong you have to change it so here driver has taken 29 seconds but executor just took only two seconds and then the total time is 32 seconds okay now i will i will see this one critical path that means minimum possible time for the app based on the critical path critical path means infinite uh, resource that you give uh, dra dynamic resource you give dynamic resource and uh, if 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 i am giving dynamic resource or spark itself is taking uh, the calculate calculation of on its own of doing the uh, resource calculation then what will be the minimum time it will take it will take 31 seconds okay now i will i will calculate the memory and i will calculate the executor in that case how much time it will take is what the second property it will take 30 seconds so there is just one second difference but in real time if you give dra imagine uh, in one example i have seen when i have used dra it took like one hour but when i calculated all the memory power properties perfectly and uh, after that when i execute what happened is it the job got completed in 20 minutes right so that is what the second property perfect parallelism without zero queue and proper calculating of cores and executor memory and driver memory stuff this will be your uh, predicts predicted value this will be your minimum time and what if i run my job with one executor one core so that is what i did now right so with one executor one core it will be 00 h r and 00 m yeah it's less than minute it, it's seconds only right it's just 32 seconds the overall right so yeah it's it's correct and uh, this is what we have to consider in the real time the first two properties you have to consider and uh, and the next thing what i will be seeing is the app level wastage metrics okay driver uh, it wasted almost 91 percentage of resources wasted and executor wasted only five percentage of resource so why we have to check why why driver is wasting almost 91 percentage how this happened so this is this is something we have to check so as as like uh, we have to give less driver memory or more or cores should be get reduced or high so that is something we have to check 
Ah, yeah, and one more interesting thing I will always use this. So this will give you the count of executors that how much you can give. If you give one executor, then the time is 31 seconds and it will utilize the cluster of 2.91 percentage it will utilize. If you give five executor, then it will take only 0.58 percentage of cluster uh, utilization the same time. Uh, that means you can give uh, five uh, uh, percentage of, I means five executors also for this. But again, depends on your calculation, but still your calculation and this is almost, I, I believe it will come same. Okay. So, and yeah, if it is not same, then you have to consider this particular information also. So this is all the information, the three, one, three things what I showed you is what I used to consider. Uh, and that's all uh, with respect to the agenda of the video, but more you want to dig. Yeah, you can just go ahead with global official document and you can learn a lot. So thanks for watching a2zknowledge.com and my channel data engineering. We do a lot of tech videos in English and Tamil, not only big data, we do have other tech videos as well. Uh, thanks for watching. Please do subscribe channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. So we have uh, 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 like uh, one more channel called startup idea just go there and see my videos and if you are interested please support that channel as well and i have given the complete playlist link of big data videos in the description box thanks for watching a2zknowledge.com and my channel data engineering